Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me, Get Daved. So, we uh, successfully stomped out the Cravers in the last video and the Pilgrims, so I guess it's going to take a brief break and just send my ships exploring the rest of the known galaxy, which is... Truthfully, not very much of it. I guess, actually, there could be a lot more beyond them. So yeah, we'll take a little bit of time to explore. See what else we can consume in our all-encompassing flame. Zanes. Zanius system in the galaxy. Uh, these two... Oh my goodness! What a glorious battle we would have. Oh my goodness! The raw, unadulterated firepower. Okay, I like this. They would provide a real fight. They would definitely provide one heck of a fight. Jovanus is just finishing up the good stuff. Alright. Guess I forgot to assign stuff on the use. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. It's like it's like we're in the dark ages here. Well, let's try helping them out a bit, shall we? Colonial rights, you can have those. Heck. You can have lots of stuff. I think these guys are going to enjoy life in my empire. Oh my goodness. They did nothing. Nothing with this system. I wonder how much that was. Oh well. going to do a little bit of quick management from here because we've got some good tech that I want to make sure is getting built everywhere, especially the science colonies. big oversights there. Oh well. And yeah, Kerr, uh, you guys. Hyperscale farms, good enough. Oof. It's a little bit farther along. sure where to begin with these people. All right. All right, we'll let the exploration phase keep going, and in the near future, I think to deal with the Kisho, I don't know what type of weapons they like to use.
Oh, pardon me, I meant the Horatio anyway. It was very clever of them to go for a preemptive strike against me. But foolish. Look at that. There is a vast empire for the amoeba out here. And the United Empire has been pretty convincingly crushed by them, it looks like. I might have to deal with them. Let's take a look at the old diplomacy screen. Oh yeah, and they're already at war with me. Perfect. Well, I mean, if that's the case, no one can leave. I can't believe they would want to do something like this to me. They're all about kinetics and missiles. I have bad news about my what my ships are good at fighting. United Empire, hey? Destroy them. This will actually be nice for me to have some ships, or some, pardon me, colonies back here. No, I didn't want you to, eh, whatever. And the He Show. I wonder if I can talk to them. So what are you guys about? Got tech? How about you amoeba guys? Nope. You have literally nothing that interests me. Tinkerer 2 is nice. It's pretty cool that he's already gotten up to level 15, actually. No, you know what, let's keep this guy on Auto Explorer. I want to just see what else is out there. And yeah, Super Death Fleet coming my way. Oh my goodness! Well, time to get back to producing weapons. Okay, let's think this through. All of my ships could use an upgrade because we've greatly improved on one level or another. And I'm just going to strip it all down. Alright. Missiles are my best, that's fine. These guys are all about support stuff, so... Power it now. This is technically a pretty good thing to have for a support ship, although I really do like the uh, accelerated magnetics. Alright, I believe we also have an armor bonus on this one. Yeah. can we get here? Super speed bonus, but it's extremely huge. Actually, let's take armor out of the equation for a minute. It's really that heavy, huh? more for some sort of heavy scout. Alright. Alright, let's 
assume they come loaded with some decent kinetics. don't want to have it completely undefended against all the other weapon types. Alright, pretty different look for the Athena. The Wrath I'm going to keep pretty much the same. I'm going to th uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take off the uh, engine mod because it's quite large. Also, keeping these guys alive is a bit more important, so I am going to go with the uh, accelerated magnetics. There is a fleet level one that you can add, which tempting. Plasmic deflection, that's going to be more important. There we go. I am happy. The Wrath 2, everybody. A little bit more diversified than the original. That could be a liability in the end. I guess we'll find out. And the Legendary Sword, which really should be the Defender. Never did quite find a way to make this ship super effective. But it does have the cheap defense module, so that's probably the angle I'm going to play up here. Eight of each, and now guns. I don't have a kinetics. This thing actually might be able to get in close and do quite a bit of damage at point blank. In the interest of diversity, I'm going to try it. I've never really employed uh, slugs effectively, so or significantly. So let's see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? My friend and yours, the Hestia. These guys, they're nice and small, so we can really pool a bunch of these together. It does need a little bit of defense, however. Don't really know against what, but flak would be the most important for getting it to survive to a second turn, so we'll try with that. Alright. Oops. And I forgot to click the ever important button. takes four command points, eight command points, ten. Let's try it. Nice balanced fleet. In practice the Wrath has been a bit more useful, so... How fast are these guys coming? Oh my goodness. Maybe 
there in a turn. Maybe it is time to send somebody back to help out. Retrofit them all. And I'm going to keep one of the obsolete ones just to see which fleet does a little bit better. We've got these guys up for grabs as well. New ones, higher military rating, but you never know. Alright everybody, let's see what happens. I also could have assigned a hero to this fleet, but uh, I have a feeling that something bad might happen. You show fleet? Uh, you don't want to do that, man. You're gonna die. And not by a small amount. All that talk of alliances, United Empire, meant nothing to you. Quadrinix Monopoly. Icon. Nice to see them happy again. Or I guess for the first time since they joined my happy family. Alright. Gamma Fleet. I think we could go for some upgrades there too. Alright. Am I still number one at... No! I don't have the biggest military. I'm gonna guess Amoeba and Horatio for that one. And I can't leave... Well... As well start shooting my way to freedom. That one won't provide immediate benefit, but we'll work on it. And yeah, since I'm at war with the United Empire anyway, we'll work on them over here too. I don't like how this is tying up my two best leaders. Also not super keen on, eh, whatever. Alright everybody, let's see what happens next turn. I have a good feeling. And by good feeling, I mean feeling of dread. I have a lot of research. Uh, okay, I'll pick off the weak one. Kinetic and missile, kinetic, or just missile. This bodes well for the. Hmm. It's actually a really important system. It's actually a pretty important thing to build in terms of economic uh, goodness. Yeah, they're already onto the good stuff. I don't really want to slow that up anymore. Alright, now the fun stuff. 
Get ready for a million combats. And we're trying to pick off the weak one, eh? Hey? This will be interesting. We do have decent flak. They're going in with the missile boat strategy, not unlike myself. Um, that's kind of tempting. If we get in close, I might try going for the beam kill. As a matter of fact, Sign so far, let's see what happens here. Well, it looks like they were, they were able to overwhelm the one, but not for free. Yeah, you're toast now. Okay. So I pretty much only took damage to one Wrath and brought down an entire fleet. If we had a subsequent battle, probably wouldn't go as well because I wouldn't have the first Wrath at the beginning to do more damage. Uh, here it comes. Of course, they don't have the leader this time. I'm not sure what this one will be. Yep. Wrath 2. Slightly better flak, but I really need to invest in that a bit more heavily. Oh my goodness! They want blood! Looks like it could be a Pyrrhic victory for them, though, the way they're pushing like this. Hmm. Alright, let's deal with this person first. I'll take it. Money for every destroyed enemy ca uh, command point, actually, not just ship. Okay. Getting pretty close to the expansion victory, which is probably the one I'm going to go for. Military is third. That's not good enough. I might have to push it into super military upgrade mode. But before we do that, I'm just going to modify the wrath design. Oh. Wow, there's room for lots more stuff. Mm, not on a wrath. Don't really like how they try getting every single little thing on here. A lot of the time, if they just focused on one certain technology, it could work a lot better. Okay. No kinetics, that's fine with me. More beams, that's fine. And flak is the... tech of the day. I think probably more important than HP even, although some of these would be nice to equip. Alright. 
And on that note, everybody, we're going to end the video. Uh, wait. I take it back. Seriously. Guess they were just waiting for that. Don't really like that they can interrupt that any moment. Are you guys done screwing around? Okay, so I was going to move the weaker one into this fleet. That'll prompt an attack. Um, Viacarus with the leader. Cannot currently upgrade. That's okay. All right, everybody, I guess we'll leave it at that. I'll see you in the next video.